Hello Gemini, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person you are thinking about or currently in a connection with at this time. We're gonna look at how they are thinking about you, what are their feelings towards you, how do they view you or this connection, and what are their intentions towards you towards the future. And also we'll wrap it up with what they wish they could tell you that maybe they haven't told you, what message, you know, would they have for you if they could speak to you or if they could be honest with you for gemini when it comes to love and relationships spirit what do we need to know what does gemini need to know i am a gemini sun and a gemini venus the struggle is real no i'm just kidding <laughs> but i always love doing our readings for gemini so this is going to be very similar to the 411 reading that I do. Um, it's a spread that I like to use that really allows me to look at all aspects of a situation. So we're going to use that spread again today. Okay, one more shuffle for Gemini. Okay, let's cut the deck and get started. All right, so what can you expect in love, Gemini? Oh my God, starting off with the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Okay, a lot of thinking. Some of you could be overthinking. Um, there could be confusion here when it comes to love, relationships, a particular person. Maybe you feel stuck, tied, like your hands are tied, like the situation, there's no way out of your situation or no future in sight. We'll see what that's all about. Insights or past influences on this energy. We have the Hierophant reverse and Justice reverse. Taurus energy and Libra energy. So something, love has not worked out, basically. There could have even been the end of a marriage, the end of a commitment that happened sometime in your past that is still influencing you now in some way. Maybe it didn't feel fair to you. Maybe it, I don't know, something something here with justice reverse and the higher font reverse. It could have been a, also a legal situation gone wrong or something that didn't come out in your favor, Gemini. How do you feel about this person or how do you feel towards love or this situation in general? The sun reverse and queen of cups reverse. Oh my God. There is only really one way to interpret this. I feel like you're sad heartbroken in your feelings I feel like there's something that you really can't see um, because I have the seven of cups and the sun reverse and then the queen of cups is reversed maybe your intuition is blocked or emotionally you can't really see past how you feel right like you, you can't really see past how you feel about a situation I'm also picking up like someone feeling like they want to give up there's a word for that but I can't think of it right now Okay, um, what about this other person that you're dealing with or have dealt with in the past or that could be coming in for you? Six of Swords, Reverse, Two of Wands. So this person's making a particular choice or is on a path here with the Two of Wands, but the Six of Swords is reversed. So this could be somebody returning or that can't leave the situation they currently are in or they're delayed from leaving a situation. Okay, what's hidden from you or what do you need to know? Page of Pentacles reverse, the lovers reverse, Gemini energy. Why, why, what is it with Geminis and love on my channel? Why can't we just have one really good reading? I mean, it's happened before, but not lately. So for the Geminis I'm reading for, I feel like you don't even feel like yourself. We're going to have to look closer at that to really see what's going on. Okay, what can you expect next? What is the outcome of all of this in the near future? Oh, wow. Ace of Cups and the full reverse. So I'm, I'm getting the sense of like a new beginning in love or a new love interest or something that makes you very happy or emotionally feel emotionally fulfilled here. But with the full reverse, I'm getting like it might be slow. 
it might be hesitant or a slow start or perhaps a delayed start. Okay, and the bottom of the deck or why all of this is happening and taking place or like the main overall energy, the Ace of Pentacles reverse. So yeah, Gemini, I'm getting the sense that you don't have something. Five of Pentacles after that. So there's been, there's some sort of loss. Um, this could be loss, like a, month, a financial loss. It could be a commit, a loss of a commitment, a broken promise. Sometimes for me as a reader, the Ace of Pentacles reverse could be a broken promise or a promise that's taken back. An offer that's rescinded, taken back. I feel like you need something or, or you, you are missing something. Looking for something that you've lost. Wonder what is going on. So let's clarify all of these. Can I get some insight for Gemini? If you're not subscribed yet and you like how I read, feel free to hit that subscribe button. The readings that are coming after this set of readings. So let's see, let's start with this Ace of Pentacles reverse. Now, this Ace of Pentacles reverse, this Hierophant reverse, this Justice reverse, some of you could have gotten divorced recently or that is kind of something that's happening. So let's see, why is the Ace of Pentacles reverse for Gemini? Why is the Ace of Pentacles reverse for Gemini? Ten of Wands. So it's been difficult. It's weighed on you, a heavy weight on your mind, I'm getting, because the Eight of Swords is here, Seven of Cups. Knight of Swords. Something coming in, some sort of message, a truth. Yeah, there's the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This is what you're thinking about. You're thinking a lot about this. There could have been some sort of quick message um, that comes in, some sort of information that comes quickly that might be hard to hear or hard to deal with because I feel like you're or, or, or just has uh, takes a toll on you um, mentally. Can I get one more for the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Ace of Pentacles reverse? Judgment. Wow. Big energy here with judgment. Judgment is all about an awakening, a realization. You're, you're reviewing the past, learning from your past, learning mistakes from your past, looking at things with a new vision, new sight, new perspective. You're realizing things and it's leading you into the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. I feel like what has happened here and you know this is the bottom of the deck the main overall energy this is why everything else is happening i feel like you've had some sort of wake up call gemini when it comes to love when it comes to a particular relationship when it comes to how you approach love and i think it's almost like something that is going to push you to work on yourself to improve to focus on yourself or focus on a particular goal. I have the Eight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. So let's get into what you can expect in love. We have the Eight of Swords and the Eight, no, the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Cups. So I'm thinking of confusion, feeling lost, feeling like there's just so much going on in your mind. So let's see what this is about. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. What can you tell me about the Eight of Swords? King of Wands. So I feel like there's something that you want or are interested in. Some sort of action that you might want to take. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. Something that you're drawn to. Can I get one more for the Eight of Swords? Four of Cups, okay. I think you're talking yourself out of something or um, going back and forth about what you truly want to do here. The Four of Cups and the King of Wands to me are like opposite energies. The King of Wands is active, engaged, 
charismatic, life of the party, loves to do things, very impulsive. Um, what they want, they get. The Four of Cups to me is someone that is not interested, not having fun, not engaged. If anything, they're closed off, dissatisfied. And I feel like it's because you're focusing on the, there's three cups here in front of this person. So they're focusing on, I feel, what has already, <clears throat> excuse me, you're focusing on what's, what has already, oh my God, I just lost like the, the ability to speak. Okay, so I just got a message. Oh. Gemini, I feel like um, what's happening here is you already kind of know about this. So there's, there's an offer coming in or something in the air that you, it's like you can feel a shift. You can feel some things happening. Maybe you meet someone interesting. Maybe you have an interesting interaction. Maybe you all of a sudden become interested in something or someone. But I feel like, yeah, it's almost like you can't be excited about it. Or you might be dismissive about it. This is really strange. Because you're thinking about it a lot. Or perhaps it will take you in a whole new direction, the Two of Wands. Maybe you need to make a specific choice. And it's just not easy for you to make this choice. Okay, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords show themselves to me. So this could be because... You're a bit closed off or uh, you need more information. Why is the seven of cups here? Why is the seven of cups here? Why is the seven of cups here? The empress. And there's the knight of wands at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there's something. Oh, man. The Hierophant, Eight of Pentacles, the Star. I feel like you are going to... be presented something. Which is odd too because the cards show me that you've had some sort of loss. But now I'm wondering if it's because it's setting you up for this new thing. The Empress, everything they touch turns to gold. They manifest. They're able to grow, expand. They have a lot of value and they are definitely someone that will catch someone else's eye. I feel like you're drawing something into your like orbit. Tell me about the seven of cups. What can you tell me about the seven of cups? Yeah, the chariot, cancer energy. You're on a path somewhere, whether you realize it or not. Nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. So... I feel like you're headed somewhere that maybe is very different than what you're used to, or maybe you have a lot of options. Maybe there's a lot of different moves you can make, or there's you're on a trajectory. Where's this chariot headed? What's this chariot about? What's this chariot about? What's this chariot about? The devil, Capricorn energy, and then there's the Eight of Swords again. So I feel like you're leaving something that was holding you back, Gemini. Tell me more about the chariot. Tell me more about the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Nine of Swords and death. Scorpio energy. Okay, I don't feel like you're headed somewhere. I think you're leaving something behind. A cycle ended for you, Gemini. Or is ending. Very soon. Something maybe that you've been worried about, anxious about. Something that has held you back. Possibly emotionally. Or mentally. I feel like you've been weighed down by something. 
It's like you've been weighed down by what you don't have or what you've lost. But I think you're moving away from this energy. Yeah, there's a two of wands again, right after death. You're, you're, you're going to be, I feel like you're being steered down a different path. Tell me about the Hierophant Reverse and Justice Reverse. Why is the Hierophant Reverse and Justice Reverse? The Lovers, Gemini, there you are. Why is the Hierophant Reverse and Justice Reverse? So this probably ha had to do with a partnership. That wasn't fair, yeah. Probably that ended because the two of wands is here again. You're on a different course. Yeah, six of swords. You're leaving some, you're all, everything that has happened in the past that is regarding love, Gemini, that wasn't fair to you, or if it was a broken commitment, a commitment that didn't happen, or a loss that you could have experienced in love or with a particular person, I feel like you are leaving that behind. You're moving away from this energy towards somewhere new. I feel like judgment is what's kind of setting things in motion here. You've had some sort of realization or awakening. You've learned something about yourself. And I think you're headed somewhere completely different. Yeah, King of Swords. It's like you have some sort of knowledge or information that is leading you somewhere different. Okay. Let's look at what you are feeling, thinking. What are your energies at this time? Or we have the Sun Reverse and the Queen of Cups Reverse. What can you tell us, Spirit, about the Sun Reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse. What can you tell us for Gemini about the Sun reverse and the Queen of Cups reverse? Wow, the star, Aquarius energy. And then there's that Eight of Pentacles again. So once again, even though you might be heartbroken, disappointed, or feeling a bit lost, I feel like there's still hope here. There's still faith or... Um, I, I'm getting almost like there's a brighter... I don't know, like a light at the end of the tunnel. It's like you're going to be working towards something despite the how you feel. You're going to be focused. Tell me about the Sun Reverse and the Queen of Cups Reverse. Tell me about the Sun Reverse and the Queen of Cups Reverse. Yeah, Queen of Wands. You're going to be going after something. This could be career. Um, related to a career, related to work, a project, a hobby, a business, working on yourself as a person, focusing on your work. I feel like you're not giving up, even though things have been tough. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You're going to get through this. You have what it takes. I feel like you're going to catch someone's eye. Like I, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, the King of Wands is here, Queen of Wands is here. It's like there's someone being drawn to another person. Or there's an attraction, like this current. You know, this Knight of Pentacles looks really good to somebody. Is <laughs> kind of what I'm picking up here. Bottom of the deck, the Magician. This is so you, Gemini, right here. The Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. Manifesting. Tell me about Gemini's energy. Spirit, what message do you have for Gemini? What can you tell us about Gemini's energy? Tell us about Gemini's energy. Wow, happy ending. Abundance, joy, fulfillment. Yeah. I feel like despite everything, you will get your happy ending, Gemini. Bottom of the deck is walking away. Yeah, I feel like you're going into a whole new cycle. You might not see it just yet, but this is where you're headed. Wow, wedding bells after that, mirrored souls. Are you looking at that? And victory lap. Exactly. Look at this energy. 
you are walking away towards something more fulfilling. And then we have here marriage, commitment, union, soulmate energy, victory lap. Let's grab one for your for this other person. Tell me about this other person, the person that Gemini is has or will be connecting with what do we need to know about this other person balancing act juggling indecision balance you're juggling multiple things at once closed off at the bottom of the deck guarded defensive resistant but burning passion is here budding romance yeah I feel like, wow, true love after that. What are the odds? You're both kind of having very similar energy. Um, but they have closed off. So you started off with walking away and they started off with closed off. So I'm almost getting like you're both in a transition phase. There's something happening that's changing, right? Because when you walk away from something or you leave a certain energy behind, things open up for you. I think when this person opens up and isn't so closed off, something beautiful happens for them as well. Okay, let's dig into their energy. I have the six of uh, swords rivers, I was gonna say pentacles, and the two of wands. Now I see that you have the two of wands because I feel like this is your energy, but they have the two of wands as well. So once again, this energy of um, both of you kind of mirroring each other, whether this is someone that you already know, have had a history with, or are going to meet in the future. Tell me about this Six of Swords reverse. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Three of Cups. Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Three of Pentacles. Okay, so... These two cards are telling me that there's someone else in the mix. Tell me about the Six of Swords reverse. Does not have to be another partner. Um, it could be a friend, a co-worker, a boss, um, a, a family member, an ex-partner, a current partner. It could also be, I really think it's a person though. I don't think this is like another type of interference. Work could also be what is delaying this person because this Six of Swords reverse I feel is a delay because the Page of Wands is here and the Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there's momentum here or someone taking the initiative to do something with the Page of Wands. But perhaps there's something else kind of delaying things or kind of getting in the way here in terms of another person okay why is the two of wands here why is the two of wands here why is the two of wands here can you tell me about the two of wands the moon pisces energy so they're not sure about something or they're having doubts or confusion. Tell me about the two of wands. What's going on here with the two of wands? Strength, Leo energy. Queen of swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is somebody that needs to find their inner strength or inner courage to take this step. Oops, sorry. I think I hit the mic. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Leo or someone with those signs in their chart. Can I get one more? Tell me more about this Two of Wands. Can I get one more spirit for Gemini? Why is the Two of Wands here for this other person? Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, Seven of Cups. Yeah, you're both mirroring each other whether you know that or not gemini you're both trying to go after what fulfills you what feels right but there's still confusion and this is probably because yeah there's the fool you don't really know how this 
th about this path that you're on. It's a completely new path or a path where you have to start from zero, literally. Zero is the number of the fool. So you don't, you can't really see that far ahead, right? So for example, this could be you moving somewhere new to find a job or them moving somewhere new to find a job. And you don't really know if that's the best choice, but maybe you both, you know, one of you, whoever decides to take this job, you make that choice, that leap of faith into something new because you feel like it feels right. And then once that happens, this person could move and then you meet. That's an example. Or you and them both need to close a chapter in your lives. And it's taking some time to do that because the future is uncertain. There's, there's no guarantees, right? Maybe this is a very hard departure for you or a very difficult change to make. Um, this could also be um, cutting out energetic ties, attachments to past energies, um, having some sort of spiritual growth where you're stepping into a new cycle and it's a little bit scary and difficult, but that's exactly where you're headed. And on the other side of that is your happy ending. Same for this person. Okay, so let's see. Page of Pentacles reverse and the lovers reverse is what's hidden from you or what you need to know. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Ace of Wands and Six of Cups. So I'm getting this is a delay. This is a delay. This could be a, um, a delayed new beginning or a delayed small offer coming in. Um, the Page of Pentacles, it's someone that is, um, they take their time, they don't really take risks, they, they, it's a small offer that they're giving you, but it has a lot of legs, right? They're serious, they're dependable, they're, you know, no funny business with the Page of Pentacles. Um, they're students, you know, dedicated, studious, um, very careful detail oriented etc 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 so i think when typically when the page of pentacles is reversed it's that someone cannot give you even a small commitment or a small offer with longevity or it's delayed and i think it's delayed based off of these cards tell me about the lovers reverse but once again we get the we get an ace here ace of wands uh, you know the new, a new beginning, something new. Why is the lovers reverse? Two of Pentacles. Why is the lovers reverse? The lovers reverse can be a card about uh, a separation, a divide between a person or someone that choose makes the wrong choice, you know, um, and it leads to problems. So we'll see. Tell me about the lovers reverse. Oh, the high just, that was the higher font that wanted to come out. I think this is the separation. Tell me about the lovers reverse. Five of pentacles. Yeah, this is a separation. This is the ace of pentacles reversed energy. And the going back and forth and thinking. Yeah, there's the high priestess, the three of wands, and the seven of cups again. Exactly. So this is... I feel what you need to know, Gemini, is that there is some sort of partnership or separation that is an issue. I feel this is what's causing the delay. Either you have been unable to let a certain partnership go or a separation has set you back in some way without you realizing it or with you realizing it, who, you know, take it as it resonates. But I feel like this is keeping you in limbo, whereas you're headed somewhere where you need to make a decisive cut, right? Like I'm picturing someone like cutting a thread. The higher font after that. Some of you, you could have been married to this person and there's still some sort of tie there. What you need to know is that this energetic tie or whatever you feel like you've been weighed down by or has has been difficult to let go of or difficult to deal with is keeping you from what i feel 
is a new beginning in love or a new offer that's very emotionally fulfilling with the ace of cups here and i think this is you're going to see this in the near future because the fool is reverse why is the fool reverse why is the fool reverse seven of wands so there's some sort of like obstacle resistance here a block tell me about the full reverse why is the full reverse 